This is the last part of the JavaScript tutorial one. We we'll talk about generating random numbers and a little bit about coding style. Okay, we have the code that runs and do the number guessing game. However, we always start with the 55. So we want to generate uh, random numbers. So how can we do that? So let's Google it. Java. Um, so what do we have? We have uh, W3School. Uh, you should avoid this. Uh, it's it's not a very good, uh, accurate site. Um, there's some things here generating a random number. This is the library from Mozilla homepage. And there's some stack overflow.com. All right. So this is the function that we're going to use, uh, math.random. There's a question answering forum in, in Stack Overflow that talk about generating generating random numbers. Okay, so and this is, this look like it is a code. Okay, that we want. Okay, so math dot random gives you a random number between uh, zero and one. It's gonna be it's not gonna be one. It's something slightly right, less than one. It's a floating point. So um, if you want to generate a, a, ran a random number between 1 to 100, we can do something like this, uh, math, math random, and then I'll multiply that by 100. So now we get something from 0 to uh, something slightly less than 100. So we can do, okay, so let's look, look at the code in Stack Overflow. Is uh, math dot flaw, so this would uh, round round down a, a floating point number to the nearest smaller integer. So we do the math dot flaw like this, but then we get from zero to uh, ninety nine. So we add one here, and we should be done. So let's try it one more time. Say fifty five. Too low, okay, 70, too low, 90, too high, 80, too low, 85, too high, 82, too low, 84, too high, 83. All right, so we get this random number, okay? So when you get stuck, you should uh, try to figure out and then you can use Google and just add this JavaScript keyword and you usually get some the piece of code that you, you want. Okay. So before we finish our uh, introduction to JavaScript tutorial one, I would like to talk a little bit about the coding style. If you look carefully, uh, you, you may notice that I have a lot of spaces like this. And, and that and and when I have the control uh, statement, I have this space here and then some there. And I I, always, I I have this braces, even though there's only one statement down here. And I use uh, four spaces. This is the what we would call uh, coding style. So if you write it, your program like this without space. The, the the browser and, and the computer can can definitely run it because it doesn't care okay however it's the, the code like this it's very hard to read so um, when, when we write the code we want the code to be easy to, to we, we want to am amplify re readability and and for JavaScript uh, th there are a lot of people who try to put uh, some coding style that 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 help readability. So, so we we are gonna stick with this uh, this uh, principle of writing consistent iterative JavaScript. So I have a link on, on the website. So uh, you should take a look at it and and and, and these are examples of uh, beautiful code. Okay. So so it's important and, and, and we really try to follow this. Okay. Um, that's another thing that you can deal with JavaScript. 
This is called uh, JS hint. If I click this in JS Fido, it, it will give me hint. If you see this red dot, it's a mi missing ready parameters. So this is the bad style. If I use just use pass int, uh, you should specify 10, that uh, this is the number base 10. Otherwise, you might get some weird answer. So let's do JS hint one more time. Okay, so nothing is bad. So my code looks nice now. Okay, so that's it for the the first uh, tutorial on JavaScript. Thank you.